Hello G Nation, I'm your host G, and we're going to have a look at the brand new Hurricane Elms, the Hurricane. He's the monthly free character, as you see now he's an acrobat. We're going to have a look at him at 5 star gold, though stay tuned, I will be posting also a basic version at 4 star bronze, uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, I do that every MLC just with basic trainers that everyone have but this will have the best i got so if we have a look at the card trainer ability at 9000 botch gems do 2200 more damage pretty limited maybe if you don't have sheamus which everyone should have really uh, no links i am assuming there probably will be links at a later point probably at least with uh, ruthless aggression i would guess but as of now there's none uh, also no gear but they did post it that there will be gear uh, starting on the second week uh, that are going to be obtainable with web coins on the portal uh, on a special web coin market so can't wait to see that. So there will be a, a, a gear later on. At least one. I don't know if there's more than one. But there's at least going to be one. And that's probably going to be next week. Alright. So the first move set we're going to have a look at. It's going to be uh, the one that just looking at it. Is the one that looked the most interesting to me. It's going to be the cape. 8 MP blue move. Deal 90k damage and make 9 leech gems into red gems. The choke slam 6 mp red move deal 68.9k damage and make 8 random gems into blue gems and the tornado ddt 6 mp red move deal 70.7k damage and modify a 4x4 random maria into leech gems of strength 32.4k so pretty straightforward we got a move giving us our blue we got a move making a area of leech gem and then a move that convert those into red making the whole cycling thing. Trainers we're going to use for that. Butch so that we start with more reds. We're going to use Big John Stud so that we're making more reds. Uh, that way we're going to make 13 out of those 16. Uh, we're going to use Bailey here so that our leech gems are going to do 2200 more damage. Could have used also Set Rollins, uh, Striker Vision Set which adds 25%, I believe, to Leech Gem, something like that. And I'm using Santa Hogan here just for that extra 1 MP so that I'm ready on the first turn. Also adds 2200 to any colors, which is going to be useful for both. Uh, but yeah, there is no perks or anything right now. I got a belt. Uh, belt uh, has some Fury Gems on it. And I put in a uh, Cheap Shot here. Uh, since he recycles really well, I don't really need anything. And plus, there's not really any good ones for red and blues. Uh, could go with uh, stuff that blows shit up, like the DX plate or the uh, that one, the blue bomber. But now nah, I went with cheap shot anyway. That's a pretty good one that's worth it for pretty much every class. All right, so we're going to try this versus Brett. Let's just look if he has a monthly bonus. We don't have any perks right now. Yeah, apparently there's move that create all color gem. We'll create two more all color gem. That's on. And gems do 50% more damage. That's a pretty sizable uh, boost right there. And is there? Wait. All color moves start with two more MP. That's a pretty good one too. But those looks like the three buffs that he has for this month they have to be because that's the only perks that are active right now okay. we're gonna start this off by getting our blue and hope that our turn doesn't end It will. That's the main issue. That normally, your freak actors, their main downside is that everything is random. So you're bound to lose a turn. All right, so now we're going to have a random 4x4 area. Let's 
check here. 21,000 for the reds. 25 for the blue, but we're going to be making all reds. But like the reds right now, they're at 21.2 instead of 19. K plus all those are gonna turn into red leeches. I did a million. A million leech on a free guy is kind of good. Especially since you can pretty much cycle that over and over. I like that. That's more, more than likely what I'll be using on him, but uh, let's look at something else. All right, scratch what I just said. That last move set we had a look at that I liked is not what I'll be using because I forgot to mention that blue move was the five star move, so I won't have him at five star, so I won't be able to use that. So let's keep looking. This is going to be a variation of what we just saw, which I don't think is going to be anywhere near as good. Uh, we're basically replacing that 5-star move, the cape, by the Averta Breaker. 10 MP blue move, finisher deals 131.5k damage and choose 11 leech gems to destroy and pin the opponent. So, similar thing, we're going to be destroying pretty much the same area. But they're not going to be red. Well, there might be red in it, but there's unlikely to have six reds within those. So we're probably not going to be cycling as well. Uh, we're going to be using the exact same trainers we just did, except we're replacing Big John Stud by Rowan here, which is, well, we don't care about the part that is multiply gems do 25% more because there's no multiplies. But blue move that destroy gems will destroy four more gems. That's going to be useful. We're going to be making, destroying 15 out of those 16. But again, chances are there's not going to be five or six reds in there. Uh, alternatively, we could be using an XT set and just make more blues. That could work as well. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Let's try this. Okay. Let's make our blue first. Let's see if it ends our turn or not. There's not a lot of blue to connect to, so maybe it won't. It didn't indeed, although it also didn't give me enough blues, so... We'll have to, work to wait next turn anyway. Because I don't want to make that area and then have him have his turn and get rid of some of those gems. You want to make sure that you use that uh, area at the same time or the same turn as you're going to be using that finisher. So right here would be nice because there's three reds. And we do have three reds. Not going to be nearly enough to cycle though. So reds, blues and purples are my main colors. And then we'll just grab the leftovers. We're grabbing pretty much everything except the loot gem here. Because we're grabbing 15 out of 16. Still doing 885, which is a pretty decent amount. Alright, that, that's the that still works. Because it still does a lot of damage, plus it still gets, so we may not need the cycle, so I might still give that a shot. But uh, let's uh, let's try a different, a completely different moveset now. Alright, other moveset, which I think is going to be the one that I'll be using. Uh, it's a 4-star moveset, because the overcast is the 4-star move. Uh, it is going to be the tilt the world at scissors 6 mp blue move deal 68.9k damage and make eight random gems into purple gems the overcast 7 mp purple move deals 78.5k damage and choose a 2x3 area to swap into blue gems and the shining wizard 4 mp purple move deal 59.5k damage and choose five gems to make into one turn countdown gem that will deal 28.4k damage and make nine random gems into leech gems of strength 32.4k. 
trainers will use for that you actually have a bunch of options you could use either lawler or woods uh, i kind of like to go with woods because if you go with lawler you might generate a uh, cascade and not get to use your purple move so i'd rather be sure and use both of them right away uh, plus there is even though the the overcast costs seven uh, you still have enough mp just because of the uh, monthly bonus that gives you two extra uh, otherwise you'd be short one even with santa uh, so i'm using woods here i'm using jimmy to get an extra countdown I'm using Cena to get an extra countdown as well. And I got Santa here, not because I want the extra 1 MP. Like I said, you don't need it for this. Uh, but I do want 2200 for all colors because I want to get more damage on the purple or the blue. You could go specifically for purple or blue. That would work. You could even go with generating more purple gems. But we'll be getting enough, I'm sure. Uh, just with the extra 2 we're getting, we're going to get 10 so that's more than enough uh, you could swap out cena and jimmy for something else the reason i went for them is because this way i'm making seven gems i need five and a half to cover the whole board in uh, leech gems so even if i lose two even if i lose three even if i lose four really that pretty much guarantees me that i'm gonna have a pretty big amount of leech gems uh, that will survive anyway so that's the only reason i went with both of those but again, you could go for gem damage, that would work fine too. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll start this off. And put more gems up. Now this one's a choose move, which is pretty rare, really, for free characters. Normally they all have random move, but this one's a choose, so I'm going to put it here. It's not going to connect to any blues. The reason for that is that I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to remain my turn. There you go. Maxed out my blue move. Hopefully now that's going to reload my purple. Lightly going to end my turn now. Got me my purple, didn't lose any of my countdowns yet. I'm assuming I will lose some. Or not. Now the whole board, or almost all the whole board, because some overrode each other, are now those. Now, if we compare, a normal blue does 23k now. One with a leash here, 23k as well although keep in mind it's like 32k leech or something like that so now we're gonna put another batch they're gonna overwrite the ones that we already have now but that's fine and now you got two options you can either try to connect those blue to other blue and maximize your damage or you can try to be lucky and maybe it's going to remain your turn and you'll get to do those uh, purple gems all over. So that's what we're going to try this time. Let's see if it can remain our turn. It did. It did 447,000 right there. Now it's still our turn. So we're going to make a bunch of purples, which hopefully will do a good amount as well. It did not. <laughs> That failed. Still 300k right there, that ain't bad. Oh, for a second I thought he was not kicking out of that. We lost one. We still have six, that should still fill the whole board pretty much. to save as many as we can all right this time screw it we're just gonna match it to three blues we'll see how much that does we got purple oh shit and it remained our turn all right 613 let's get some purples
Seven Eleven. A little longer, but pretty damn effective. It cycles really well, and you're basically destroying so many leech gems, you're probably never gonna take any damage, really. So I like that. It's pretty good for survivability, for sure. So that's pretty much it for Hurricane. I don't think... Let me just double check. I don't think there's really much more to it. Like, I guess you could change your move that makes purple and instead select the gems to destroy. That might be worth a try. All right, let, let's try that. All right, so we're going to try what I just said we might. And we're actually going to pimp that ID a little. So we're going to put the Verta Breaker, 10 MP blue move. Finisher deals 131.5k damage and choose 11 leech gems to destroy and pin the opponent. The Overcast, 7 MP purple move, deals 78.5k damage and choose a 2x3 area to swap into blue gems. And a Shining Wizard, 4 MP purple move, deal 59.5k damage and choose 5 gems to make into 1 turn countdown gem. That will deal 28.4k damage and make 9 random gems into leech gem of strength 32.4k. Now, trainers, we're going to use wood so that our purple starts ready. We're going to use Bailey so that our blue finisher is going to do 125% more damage because it is a good decent amount of damage for a finisher. We're going to keep uh, Cena here to get an extra countdown gem and I'm going to keep Ogun for the extra damage. Now also, I put on a blue damage metal which is going to add a total of 133.3% to that finisher. And I put up the smoke... Uh, basic plate here so that whenever I break three or more blue I'll get three purple so it's gonna help to cycle that purple even though that finisher alone should be able to give us since we're gonna have the whole board into lead gem and we'll get to pick what we destroy we should be able to get enough uh, could also use uh, Rowan again to destroy more with the finisher that could have worked too let's try that now Now, I'm gonna lay down those. that turn not too big of a deal because you can't if you're lucky with the cascade you could get everything like if that didn't cascade it would have been my burn again plus I would have just had to make a single gem match and I would have got an extra turn and that would have have those countdown go off and I could have done everything on the first turn but that's a lot of ifs that need to go right for it to work and let's get out of that okay so we're gonna place down those again Now, the finisher does 447 on his own, and I get to pick 11 gems to destroy. Now, I will pick the three, the three purples here, which will give me 3 MP plus next turn 4 that I need for another set of countdown. And the rest, I'm going to go for blues, because first it's going to cycle my finisher. But also, they're going to do the most amount of damage as well. That pretty much covers all I can. And I guess we'll get a red extra. Or is there one that could cascade? Or no? Let's get a red. That would cascade a lot. Well, 
1.1 mil. Oh shit, he kicked out. Alright, alright. Strikers for the win, that would not happen with a showboat. Still have four that remain. So far. It stays my turn. We're good. That still did like 500k. I can put another batch of those. Because blue gives me purple. Get three purples and the rest are blue. Okay, that covered it. This black will cascade, and I guess purple is our second color, so let's grab more of those, I guess. This will cascade too. I don't know how much over a million it did, but it did. This works out pretty damn well, too. So, a uh, pretty versatile character, really. A bunch of different movesets. And uh, definitely very effective for a free character. Now, obviously, keep in mind, he does have pretty sizable buffs right now for the whole month. But nevertheless, pretty good character. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, keep in mind, also, I will be posting a very basic version of the 4-star bronze version probably tomorrow uh, once I have my own so stay tuned for that in the meantime if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys Gia. ciao